Okay, so welcome back. We are <laughs> we are back in the uh, we're back, still back in the pirates room, and we are going to save this thaumaturge from himself again. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm still laughing about this about this sudden nod, but I'm not the only person that's a little bit confused by the. by the delays of this tank, so we're just literally picking up right from where we dropped off. He's still a little bit squishy, so we are a little bit heavy on the heels. No, we don't need that one. Come on over here. Unless you're doing a full clear, there's usually, you know, a few sets of mobs that you can that you can just pass over and he's going so slow, I don't think we're going to end up doing a full clear today. But that's okay. So let's get some arrow out. I think that it's down in, in these kind of lower levels. Being a white mage is a little bit of a a little bit of a yawn fest. It's it's, it's a little, like, when you're when you're first going through these dungeons, it will be so exciting because there's so much going on. But once you hit like the thousandth time, you're just like yawn. Cure, cure. I, I've got like a third of my abilities that I should have and I'm just kind of hanging out here hoping nobody dips too low and kind of secretly hoping somebody does like some kind of excitement maybe something will jump out and I'll have something that's not scripted and awkward going on But, of course, this is very heavily scripted. Nothing unexpected is ever really going to happen. Not today, at least. We'll grab the keys. You won't be grabbing too many keys on mage jobs. I don't end up grabbing too many keys on mage jobs. Um, every once in a while I will, but something like that, the keys basically right underneath the monster, I'm not going to run into the fight. Um, sometimes if they're on the outskirts, I'll pick them up, but usually somebody that's in the action that even gets to, to pick the things up, they're usually busy. So we are approaching the tail kind of, I guess, like third-ish of the dungeon. So we are in the home stretch. Just heading down here. Me being so impatient, I keep running ahead of the tank. A good point to remember is don't don't run into the tank. <laughs> don't run ahead of the tank, sorry. That's how you get aggroed. Another nice change as opposed to a lot of the more traditional um, mechanics in, in the, the game is the, the tank pulling. I was a little bit shocked by it in the beginning and I was a little bit um, caught off guard. It was it was something to get used to instead of, especially instead of like if you're coming off of 11 and you have kind of the the stationary party system where you have a puller like a thief or a dancer um, pulling into the party and you just kind of get to sit there and rest your MP. Here there is not much need to rest your MP, especially if you're not in cleric stand. And um, I've noticed that it does. Increase your MP a little bit more, and 
if you're not in battle, um, battle that that you that your MP regeneration as opposed to, as well as your HP regeneration actually, as opposed to when you're between battles, you'll see that like people who are not quite healed will regenerate their their health quite quickly between the battles. And of course, if you are not on a healer class, you don't have to worry about any of this. You just point and shoot. Let me at him. So that always keeps me, catches me off guard whenever the boss runs away. I'm always trying to chase after it. It's literally just a reaction. Like you see somebody run off and you're like, oh, maybe that was the tank. It is my goal in life to always stay very close to the tank. So we can, I can, I'm so close to the final boss, I can literally almost taste it, like he's right at our fingertips. We just need to close, turn this corner. And we are practically there. And so this was a relatively painless run. It was one semi-close call. Uh, no deaths. No deaths is always a bonus for anybody. Everybody can appreciate that. Oh, excuse me. Just clearing this last little bit out. No, we don't, we don't need to take those ones. You can just... Okay, you don't actually need those ones. You can just hug the wall, usually. But that's okay. I'm not in any great hurry, and you can always just fast forward to this part when it's boss. Oh, where I can see them, I can see them from here. So, the dungeons, you are either going to love them or hate them. I usually love them. There are, sometimes I tire of some of them, but usually I love them. I love them even more when you are on with friends. Um, upsides and downsides, dungeons with friends. Upside, of course, is you're running with friends. Um, downside, you cannot do the duty roulette. So with the duty roulette, you get a huge boost in um, experience points. And those experience points are super helpful. And it's like massive at higher level of that. At, I'm at level 40 now, and I think I can get 100,000 experience points just for doing a duty roulette. And that is completely independent of the level of the roulette itself. And as you can see by my XP bar at the very bottom, you need a lot to get to the next level now, so. Okay, I am gonna skip this cutscene. Okay, now there are a couple of mechanics of this fight. There is, of course, the burn option, which is most popular. You'll find that most people just um, run in, get the mob, and then 
just burn it down as quick as possible. Always an option. Option number two are these unnatural ripples here. You'll see me stand over one. They will start to bubble periodically during the fight. Um, what happens when they bubble is basically an, a link will pop out from the water underneath the den here and will um, obviously aggro you and just be a link, which is what he is. Um, if you hit the unnatural ripples, you can actually discourage them from popping. So you can see this one went down. And we'll just keep an eye out here for them. You can usually keep an eye fairly effectively on about two of them. Any more than that, it's just too much running. You're not going to get there in time. So here we go. Oh, we'll grab this one now. And it does give you a moment to grab them. There we go. Oh, see, well, our back was turned. One came out, so it's not bad. We're almost, we're already almost done. We did a really good job, but it's just really hard to be able to watch all four of them. And there we go. So you get a nice little cutscene at the end here. Always a good job. Throw out a player commendation at the end of your... At the end of your experience here. And race to the exit, let's see. It was really good. And thank you for joining me as well.